Franz Beckenbauer brings his Bayern Munich side to Glasgow tonight for a big night of football. In Glasgow, indeed, Celtic entertaining Inter Milan as Rangers go head to head on the same evening in Glasgow. Rangers versus Bayern for a place in the European Cup, Cup final. Franz Beckenbauer, what a real stature he carries at the heart of that Bayern defence. He's the rock, of course, of the West German national side as well. And it's going to be the Germans to get the game underway. Schneider and Müller just waiting on the green light from the referee. Very talented side, the Germans. And very disappointed that the first leg ended one goal apiece. The OG, OG from Zobel. It was a Collenstein cross. So Rangers having scored in every away tie in this European campaign. And that's why tonight they're on the brink of getting to the second Cup Winners' Cup final in a five-year spell. Willie Johnson now back with Willie Matheson. Flick on, lay off from Steen's quality. Alan McDonald in support. Willie Johnson drops a gear. He gets inside the fullback. Early delivery, not a great one. And swept out the danger area by Breitner. Rangers keep the pressure on again. Alec McDonald signed from St. Johnson, of course. Chisels the ball into the danger area. But again, the German defence, so organised as you would imagine. Touch for Johnston to Sandy Jarden. Brings back in his left foot. Thinks about the shot. It deceives Meyer. Rangers open the scoring. Only one minute on the clock. Excellent build up. The Germans back off. Look how Rangers celebrate. A magnificent start to the match at Ibrox. Sandy Jarden on his left foot, not his favourite foot, gets a clean strike on it and it swerves in the air, deceiving the German goalkeeper Meyer. Rangers sensationally. Open the scoring at Ibrox Park. Rangers won Bayern Munich nil. Rangers on the attack again. Matheson accelerates. Beckenbauer. Oh, Beckenbauer so composed but picked up again by Derek Johnston. Drives at Beckenbauer. Has it all to do. Support there from Schwarzenbecker. Willie Johnson picks it up again for Rangers edge of the box. Such trickery. Invites the challenge, wins the corner. Well, Koppenhofer get across here with Rott to shut down the Flying winger Willie Johnson. Now, uh, will we see a left foot or a right foot delivery from Wee Bud? He's adept with either. I think you might even call it ambidextrous. And just for confirmation, he elects to go with the right foot. Knocks it in near post. Breitner with the trademark stoppings at the ankles. Protects the near post. And Set Meyer just has a word with the fullback. Another two established German internationalists. Of course, Breitner only 20 years of age. My goodness, he's known as. Their Afro, I think it might be something to do with that here though. So Johnston again with the corner. This time it could be the left-footed option. Indeed it is. Good delivery to the penalty spot. There's the header, it's off the crossbar. Again, Meyer, all at sea. Great delivery from Willie Johnston. They just don't know how to handle the variation in corner kicks. Colin Steen on the end of that, peels off his marker, pours his header onto the crossbar as Rangers go for the jugular. Schwarzenbecker is all at sea. Meyer comes this time. He has to be commanding because at the moment Rangers very much in the ascendancy. But Set Meyer calls well from his line there, demands the ball, lets his defenders know he's coming. But there's the one off the crossbar again. Steen's header crashing back off the woodwork as Meyer just a spectator on his own goal line. Now we see the first Bayern attack. Well defended. Alec McDonald back supporting the centre backs of Jackson and Smith. Johnson again just takes all the pressure from his defenders. He goes in a bit of a mazy. He's now inside Bayern territory. Keeps it going. Look, he's surrounded by white shirts and Beckenbauer does enough to steal the ball from his toe. Support from Parlin. Steen peels off for the delivery. Forced away from Golvo. And finally just knocked out there by Hansen. Giving Rangers the throw in. Excellent start. This will please Willie Wardle and Jock Wallace. You see Matheson in an unusual area, left footed down that right flank though. Balls for McLean. Snapshot from Tommy McLean and it just goes over the crossbar. Tommy McLean, of course, signed last year from Kilmarnock. £65,000 made him a Rangers player. And he already had European experience. But it's about Matheson's delivery. Not particularly well defended. Not a lot of time for McLean to get his shot away. And it's just rising all the time and over Set Meyer's crossbar. Rangers won. Bayern Munich nil. Again, Rangers keeping the pressure on. It won't come through to McDonald. Now we see Roth come away now for 
Bayern with Honus linking up with Schneider. Koffenhofer now in midfield. Not many options open to him. As again, Rangers just filter. Defenders back, Dave Smith so composed, but pressure yet from Schneider. Sandy Jarden has to look lively, taking a bit of a head knock in the process. It was Uli Honus who was also in there, making a bit of a nuisance of himself. Peter McCoy policing the goal line. Sandy Jarden electing not to make his goalkeeper make the save at the expense of the corner kick. Aerial delivery, and the man they call the Girvin Lighthouse comes and takes it very comfortably. 25 year old Peter McCloy joined Rangers in 1970. Now, skipper Dave Smith coming back from two leg breaks in a year, back into the side just last September. What a wonderfully composed player. He is the Scottish Beckenbar. McLean's on his bike, gets a shoulder charge from Breitner. Tommy McLean has a look, looking for the free kick. Rangers tonight, of course, wearing the blue shorts. That surprised many in this 80,000 crowd. But what a wonderful start. So, Willie Johnson again, the architect from the free kick. Looking to just ensure that the 10 yards are marked out for the German defender. Johnson knocks it in back post. Meyer comes and takes it very cleanly indeed. Meyer, of course, he was number one in the Mexican World Cup with the West German squad after having been to England 66 but wasn't called into service. Now Rangers back in possession again. Jarden has to look lively. He's under a bit of pressure there from Rott. Rott comes off best this time. Back with Beckenbauer. The Kaiser. Interception from the very young Derek Johnston. In his debut for Rangers, a 16-year-old. Only 18 years of age just now. The Rangers fans in this 80,000 crowd absolutely delighted by the start that their heroes have made to this match. In the last round, of course, it was uh, Serie A leaders Turin who were put to the sword by Rangers to get to the semi-final stage, but they have some defending to do again. Early snapshot there, but it's drilled into the body of Dave Smith, just making himself a big target ahead of his goalkeeper. And one again by Sandy Jarden, who takes a good touch. Releases Matheson, who, defending that back post, has found himself now operating on that right side. Oh, he does well to take on Beckenbard, delivers it into the danger area, and again, the corner kick goes Rangers' way. Willie Johnston on the shoulder of the defender, Hansen there, makes life difficult for him, and he can only knock the ball behind as Rangers again have the corner kick. Set Meyer just tries to organise his defence, and suggestion is he wants the movement of Colin Steen to be tracked. In comes the delivery again. Steen's a real problem, but it falls for Parlin, and he makes it two tonight. Well, Meyer, under pressure from Colin Steen, doesn't get a clean fist on it. It falls from Derek Parlin, and Derek Parlin sweeps the ball home. He's not 20 years of age yet, and he gives Rangers the dream of a second goal in the first half tonight against Bayern Munich. Let's watch it again. The delivery's coming in. Steen is literally on the toes of Meyer. Meyer stretching. It falls for Parlin on the half volley and off the underside of the crossbar. Rangers 2, Bayern Munich nil. My goodness, they are entitled to celebrate. A dream start for Rangers. 2-0, but remember, they were 3-0 up against Sporting Lisbon at half-time. In a previous round, the match finished 3-2, so they cannot allow complacency to creep in, and we've seen nothing yet of the man they called their bomber. That was, of course, Gerd Müller. I um, mean, you consider he was the top scorer in the Mexican World Cup just two seasons ago with 10 goals. Rangers will have to maintain concentration levels. None more so than now, as the Germans get a second opportunity from the free kick. It's going to be Beckenbauer again to try and Oh, so casual, just knocks it into the danger area. McCloy, well positioned, perhaps makes that save look actually easier than it was from Schneider. But look how casually Beckenbar tries to catch out the Rangers defence. Schneider holds off the challenge of Johnston, doesn't get a clean strike on it. And Peter McCloy, happy to make the save almost on the goal line. And McDonald's movement all the time, looking for the pass. Rangers just try and keep possession. And expend some energy for the Germans. Now Willie Johnson popping up on the right flank, support from Skipper Smith. Former Aberdeen player, of course, offside. Flag is up. 
I think Derek Parlin keen to perhaps add to that goal is already notched. 22 minutes in the clock when Rangers got that second goal. Derek Parlin, yeah, wonderful finish for the youngster. Remember his father, of course, Jimmy, was also a Rangers player. And the 19-year-old, my goodness, how he celebrated that one. So the Germans trying to get back into the game. Kicked long by Meyer. Header won by McDonald now to Tommy McLean. Plays the inviting through ball for Willie Johnson. There's a chance for Wee here, but a combination of Breitner getting back there alongside Hansen and goalkeeper Meyer just do enough to deny Willie Johnson. You can see how disappointed Willie is. His pace almost takes him clear. Can't work it out from under his feet. And a very, very late challenge from Hansen does enough to avoid Bayern going three goals down as Muller now comes away. Honus thinks about the shot from distance. Blocked by Derek Johnson and worked back to the goalkeeper with real confidence from Dave Smith. This three-man central defence of Colin Jackson, Derek Johnston and Dave Smith very much in the top of their game tonight for Rangers. Half-time approaching, Rangers enjoying this two-goal advantage. Derek Parlin takes the touch and indeed the whistle blows for a free kick. A high challenge against Willie Johnston. Beckenbach tries to lose the clutches of Colin Steen. Gets the advantage. Rangers again have some defending to do. Muller with a layoff. Only half cleared. Handball surely against Alan McDonald. Not so, says the referee. Rangers just making themselves very difficult to be played through. And Dave Smith, skipper, playing by example. Takes a good touch and down the line. Layoff from Johnson. Matheson doesn't read it at all. It's picked up by Zrobel. Knocks it to the back post. Pull boy with a good two-fisted punch to clear. There's a delivery again, just knocked into the mix for Gerd Müller and Peter McCloy, very commanding, off his line quickly. Desperate to keep a clean sheet tonight. So Honus comes away again for Rangers, interception by Matheson. Layoff from McDonald again, Willie Johnson. He's really terrorised this German defence tonight on occasions. Plays it long for the movement of Alec McDonald. And Beckenbach comes across the cover. And Breitner, of course, has gone off. He's just been replaced. Paul Breitner, the German internationalist, picked up that injury. Had to leave the field of play. An able deputy coming off the bench for the Germans is... Rangers have the corner kick again. Willie Johnson knocks it in right-footed again. Variation goes for the deep ball, headed back across goal, and it's not a million miles away. As Rangers looking to add to their two-goal advantage at the moment. They're on the cusp of perhaps booking their place in the European Cup Winners' Cup final. Derek Parlin with that second goal, and not far away with the header as the half-time whistle approaches. There's a German substitute on now. It's picked up Derek Johnson, certainly not con short of confidence at all. It's a bit of a late challenge from Gerd Müller. Shake of the head from the big Dundee lad. It was Crowthison. Crowthison coming off the bench to replace Breitner. Rangers have the free kick. Skipper Dave Smith to take. Whips it long. Testing, teasing ball that Meyer comes and takes. Beckenbar not happy at all that... There's no support for his goalkeeper. They wanted someone just to get closer there to avoid the free kick coming right down the throat of the German goalkeeper. But Rangers looking forward now to this half-time cup of tea. A two-goal advantage. Dave Smith has excelled at the heart of that defence. But the two goals coming very early in the match. Sandy Jarden with the first in only 60 seconds. The second from Derek Parlin in 22 minutes. And as we get underway for the second period, Rangers have one eye in a place in a final in Barcelona. So Rangers again, showing real determination in defence as Willie Matheson tactically now operating on the right-hand side just to nullify the movement of Rot. Rangers is tinkering with the formation just now. It means that Alec McDonald has to filter back and support in the full-back area when Rangers lose possession. Johnson has to look lively. Schneider escapes Johnson. Drills the effort off the woodwork. And that had Peter McCloy stretching. There may just have been a touch from McCloy here to do enough. Indeed, 
it certainly was a very, very fine effort from Schneider. And Rangers breathe a sigh of relief as the Germans just start to step up a gear. Zobel with a square ball. Now with Beckenbauer, he might shoot from here. Bit of a daisy cutter. Peter McCloy stretching, not sure it was on target, but Peter McCloy, 25-year-old goalkeeper, smothering the ball. Now with Parlin, the youngster in this Ranger side tonight, 19 years of age, inviting ball for Willie Johnson to go long. Eight years at the club now, Willie Johnson, but his pace is still electrifying. And wins the corner kick for Rangers. He's taken a bit of a knock in the process. We shouldn't underestimate this German side. I mean, they have the backbone of the West German national side playing here tonight. Meyer, Schwarzenbeck, Breitner, Honus, Müller, Beckenwar, of course. Everyone, top quality players. But at the moment, they have it all to do. 1-1 one, one the first leg, remember. So as things stand at the moment, Rangers enjoying a 3-1 aggregate lead. There's some treatment required for Willie Johnson. An opportunity, just to remind you of the... Rangers starting 11 tonight. Peter McCloy, Derek Johnston, Colin Jackson, Dave Smith, Sandy Jarden, Willie Matheson, Tommy McLean, Derek Parlin, Alec McDonald, Colin Steen, and of course Willie Johnson, who takes this free kick himself, knocks it into the danger area. Jackson trying to get a header on it. Desperate defending from the Germans and a bit of a push as Steen and Jackson combine just to make life difficult for Beckenbauer. And the Germans quite happy to get a bit of respite, have the free kick just at the edge of their own six yard box. Schneider holds it up. Jackson snapping at his heels. Beckenbauer again. Rangers quite happy to let the Germans have a bit of the ball inside their own half as Honus comes forward. Bit of frustration for Muller peeling off to try and get involved. But again, the final ball from the Germans hasn't really troubled Rangers again tonight. Flick on from Beckenbauer. So casual but so effective. Honus with a snapshot. And it doesn't trouble Peter McCloy at all. It's certainly high and well over the target. So 2-0 Rangers after the big result in the Olympic Stadion. Where, of course, Bayern just moved earlier this year from the Grunwalder Stadium to the modern Olympic Stadium as Alec McDonald threw on goal. He's a lonely figure, though. The offside flag clearly up. Alec McDonald deciding that he's going to have a snapshot anyway at... Uh, or more of a bit of a pot shot, perhaps, at Set Meyer. But clearly the flag was up for an offside decision. So the Germans looking to perhaps get a goal back. Set up a rousing finish. Muller again, we're happy to see him away from goal. He does his damage inside the 18-yard box. But when he's in possession, halfway inside your half, well, quite happy to keep him there, but he now links up with the skipper Beckenbauer. Back again with Honus, now getting forward from his defensive job. Another strike on target from distance, and again over Rangers crossbar. It says more about the defending of Rangers than the attacking flair of Bayern, I suggest, as Uli Honus, through frustration, can only try and hit the target from fully 35 yards. And again, he fails to trouble Peter McCloy. Five years ago, 1967, Bayern beat Rangers 1-0 in the final of this tournament after extra time. Revenge, perhaps, in the air this evening in the southwest of Glasgow. Willie Johnson again drives at Honus, back in his right foot. Not the cleanest of strikes, and Meyer just backtracking, takes a touch before clutching the ball. But again, you see the potency of Willie Johnson as your support to the main striker, Johnston, in possession. They're taking the pass from Steen. They don't know whether he's going left or right. He elects on this occasion to have the shot right-footed. But Meyer, centrally positioned, well positioned indeed to make the save. As Rangers again make sure that the goalkeeper is well protected and parlaying back, supporting his centre-backs, hooks it clear, but the decision of a free kick goes the way of the Germans. Rott not happy at all with the number of occasions Rangers perhaps have conceded free kicks. He's looking to see if there's any names going to go down in the book. But Rangers have to be organised here. Peter McCloy organising the defensive wall. Honus may fancy this. Muller himself, or it could indeed be Beckenbauer, is back there in the snapshot as Rangers break the wall. They charge the ball 
ensuring there isn't a clean sight of the target. See it again, it's the short ball giving Rangers the chance to break from the wall, protect the goalkeeper, and the effort just fizzing wide of the target. Again, the Germans having a good spell, and again, they win yet another free kick. Tarlin quite happy to mix it when the need is there for a bit of physical contact. They're certainly not going to roll over Rangers. Determined to protect this two goal advantage just now. Taken quickly. Schneider peels off. McDonald shuts him down quickly. Flicking delivery to the near post by Hansen. And Peter McCoy gathers comfortably and decides to just kick it long. Take some pressure off. On you go, bud. Drop a gear. Put some pressure on their defence. And he does so with some aplomb. Takes it into the corner for a bit of a run. Oh, and he's upended just at the edge of the field of play in the corner of the 18-yard box. And Willie Johnston certainly not in a hurry to get back up from this one. He'll be fine. But just taking the opportunity to slow the game down. Tommy McLean comes across now to take this corner kick. I think this will perhaps be taken short. It is returned to McLean. Whips it goalwards. And again, the Germans unsure of the invention from Rangers. Set plays tonight. But Meyer does enough again with McDonald threatening. As the ball just breaks off the hand of Parley in there. Pressure kept on. Beckenbar now pushing on from his defensive role to the substitute. He's looking to deliver into feet. Laid off by Schneider. Zobel now for Bayern. Smith comes across to close him down. Good delivery, headed clear by Derek Johnston. And Sandy Jardin now operating on the left side. Rangers having switched the fullbacks. Willie Matheson operating on the right. Popping up everywhere indeed, the St Andrews born fullback. There's the layoff for Johnson. Matheson continues his run. He wants it down the flank. Willie Johnson, another Pfeiffer, does well. Holds it up, cuts inside. Honus across for the challenge and just lifts it off the toe of Willie. Rangers again, very quick to get the challenges in a high area of the field. Bit of a lecture there from the referee. Rangers very keen, of course, to ensure that the Germans don't settle at all. And again, Rangers concede the free kick. You can see how this is frustrating the Germans. This time it's Matheson with the late challenge. On the Zobel. And again, slowing the game down. The free kick taken quickly. The Germans trying to up the tempo of this match. As Rangers have one eye in a European Cup Winners' Cup final. It would be a fantastic achievement. Ball now back with Seth Meyer. We call him the cat because of his athleticism. Now with Uli Honus. Beckenbauer. What can he find to unpick this stubborn Rangers defence? It's with the substitute. Krauthausen. Again, McLean filters back to support the defenders. He's just dropped into the danger area. There's a chance here for Rangers and Schneider can't get it under control. The offside flag may well have intervened anyway, but Peter McCloy showing real positional sense at his near post. But Schneider adjudged to have been offside anyway. McLean happy to come back. But again, the free kick. Eric Parlin tonight. Well, patience is finally worn thin by the referee. And Derek Parlin picks up the yellow card. Clearly persistent fouling from Derek Parlin. But I tell you what, it's been particularly effective tonight for the youngster. In for the injured John Gregg. Willie Johnson, well, a bit of showboating from Bud there, suggesting he might even sit on the ball. That certainly, let's see this again. Willie Johnson takes a touch, invites the challenge and says, here it's here. Willie Johnson, not just a fantastic footballer, a genuine entertainer as well. And you can only do that when results are in your favour. Rangers enjoying the two-goal advantage just now. Tommy McLean to take the corner kick. Deep ball headed into the danger area. And my goodness, that's off the goal line. Rangers again looking for that third goal. 
the, again the variation from the set play Tommy McLean's delivery to the back post Colin Steen had peeled off climbing over the defender though it wouldn't have counted anyway and there was Alec McDonald let's see it again delivery to the back post Colin Steen with the flick on Alec McDonald on the swivel and the defender desperately pleading although the climb from Colin Steen was considered illegal as Muller seeks some retribution and young Parlin with a late challenge Derek Parlin just drops a gear takes a good touch Muller challenges with the wrong leg Tommy McLean just draws the referee's attention to the challenge from Gerd Muller bit of an apology but Derek Parlin quite happy stay down Rangers physio Tommy Craig just administer some treatment as Peter McCloy perhaps thinking about a Cup Winners Cup final a date with destiny perhaps in Barcelona 80,000 plus shoehorned into Ibrox tonight for this semi-final tie it's been a wonderful campaign for Rangers all through they drew one all with Rennes away from home with a Willie Johnson goal 1-1-0 at Ibrox through Alec McDonald second round of this tournament a bit of a lottery Rangers versus Sporting Lisbon six all in aggregate after a two all 90 minutes in Lisbon McDonald looking near post Steen on the end of the delivery there Tommy McLean's free kick Steen can't get over the ball and can't hit his effort on target yeah it went to penalty kicks bizarrely against Sporting Lisbon and they weren't necessary at all because Rangers had already won the tie on away goal so that set up this tie against uh, Turin in the quarter finals as we see German side Bayern certainly not throwing the towel in yet getting forward to try and throw something back in this match but a wonderful victory is certainly on the horizon tonight and revenge for the 1967 Cup Winners Cup final is McDonald it really has been the movement of Rangers tonight that's caused all sorts of problems is Beckenbar and Myers well total breakdown in communication they may be teammates at club level and teammates at international level Alec McDonald just drops the ball into the danger area Myers comes short Beckenbar's expecting him on the goal line and my goodness Rangers almost profit yet again and again a mix up defensively McDonald always threatening Tommy McLean, great skills again from the former Kilmarnock man. Shooting chance, just won't open up for him. Has it all to do in Honus, hooks the ball clear. Pressure kept on through Sandy Jarden. The defending header isn't effective at all. Willie Johnson just takes it into the corner. Aware that uh, time is also the opponent of Bayern just now. Yeah, Turin were the quarter-final opponents for Rangers. 1-1 away from home. 1-0 here at Ibrox and ensuring that Rangers great record of scoring in every round away from home in this Cup Winners Cup campaign and that's why they are on the verge of booking their place in the final offside Schneider just gone early well the advantage is given to Rangers but 90 minutes have come and gone Dave Smith shakes the hand of the referee as he blows for full time the final score at Ibrox Rangers 2 Bayern Munich 0 and it's a score that reflects 3-1 on aggregate and Rangers are in the European Cup Winners Cup final for the second time in five years through goals from Sandy Jarden in 60 seconds and Derek Parlin in 22 minutes book your seat for a trip to Barcelona mm -hmm.